Okay, when last we left our hero, he was in a bit of a bad spot. We've just been unjustly accused of murdering the Empress after returning from our a mission, see, unsuccessfully seeking help for the plague that is ravaging Dunwall. And now, as you can see here, six, six months have passed since you were accused by the royal spymaster of murdering the Empress and conspiring to abduct her daughter, Emily, the royal heir. Now, locked away in Coldridge Prison, the time of your execution draws near. Great criminal system they have in Dunwall. What, they... You are standing near the body, they... That angry bald guy that pointed at you. What else do you need? Yeah. All right. Well, to be fair, if you try to tell them no, it wasn't me. It was it was these guys who teleported in and then vanished. That's kind of hard to sell. But as you'll see, there may have been a more sinister motive for the speed with which they accused our hero Corvo. Prison. That sign appears all over. Oh, oh, sure. the final chance, sign the confession and let me give you the rights to put your spirit. There's in Campbell. Ease. Oh! Ah, ah. That large, un unpleasant, bald looking man, we'll see him again too. That's enough for Excellent. now. Get out. Let's give the man some time to think. Never trust a bald man. Corvo, the Empress is dead. Her daughter Emily is hidden away. No one There's several of them. Know the truth. <sighs> yes, I'm with you. Tomorrow you'll be executed. But it's for a good cause. This country needs strong leadership now. Someone to guide the weak. And that's where we come in. There was nothing personal. I'm trying to figure out why order Even though you almost be sank in the but well. it turned out well. You were in the wrong place at the right time. And someone has to take the fall. Goodbye, Corvo. Oh no. Guards! Take him back to his cell. Now that was Lord Hiram Burroughs. Mm. He's done a played by Christopher Tabori. He's done a lot of television. You may know him Jimmy best as Corvo. this meal comes from a friend. You may know him best as HK-47 from Knights of the Old Republic. Yeah. Camp and Campbell was played as Daniel Hagen, who done a lot of stuff. He's been in Ratchet and Clank, a bunch of other games. Actually, th oh, hold on. Corvo, who we are is irrelevant right now. Just know that we have faith in you. Here is the key to your cell. Once you're out, head for the prison's interrogation room. Take the explosive there and plant it in on the outer door. When the bomb goes off, run. Make for the river and lose yourself in the sewers. You'll find some useful gear stashed there. Donatello can tell you more when... Okay, that's not there. One of, <laughs> one of the prison guards will leave a weapon just outside your cell. And good Cowabunga. luck. Cowabunga. And good luck. We need you alive and well for what's to come. Cowabunga, a friend. <laughs> Okay, so there's there's someone on the outside who wants us out, apparently. But will yes. it be enough? Ooh, Seen anybody with key? signs of the sickness? Bug someone else. So did did you already eat the bread? Did I miss that? Yeah, it's you. Corvo can eat extremely fast, as you can see in this game. His, yeah. his metabolism is. Mighty. Nothing short of superhuman. City, I've got the City Watch sword. And the guy just left his coins lying around. Oh, so many people are coming to the execution tomorrow. Not very secure for a prison. It's on account of Corvo, the one who killed the Empress. And abducted Is that really how you should hold a sword? Like that doesn't seem like the smartest way to hold it. Right. Actually, holding it down, holding it like that, so it's uh, pointing down. That, that actually, that, there's certain situations where that works. Okay, so I'm, I'm confused. Is that a dagger or an actual long blade? It's 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 longer than a dagger, I think. Okay. Oh, and that's the end of him. 
That's how you kill a guy. Stealthily. Quick. Feels no pain. Probably. As Hopefully. Far as you know. Yeah. Okay. As you care, really. Yeah. As I said, this is going to be a high chaos playthrough, so. Here, now that guard's coming back this way. I should mention, I'm not great at this game, so from time to time you'll see some you'll see some edits from different from times I've reloaded after being killed or caught or whatever. I'm. I've tried. I've tried to make it as non-obtrusive as possible, but you know it's not perfect. No wonder you're just eat Markley. And Attention. Tomorrow, Goodbye. Execution will be restricted to the personnel assigned to the event and approved dignitary. Ooh, fifty coins on that guy. Nice. He was holding. And this. All right, you. You guys just hang out. This Corvo clearly cares not for <laughs> inconspicuousness. Well, all right. That's just ridiculous. Make it up on this guy. Stupid rats. This is the non-lethal takedown. You grab him and you choke him out. <laughs> now the important thing is to note here is that the non-lethal takedown takes longer. So there is a price to be paid for not killing people. If you just kill, 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 it's, it's quicker, you're less likely to get caught. And that's one of the things I like about this game, actually, is that playing the good guy genuinely is harder in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I respect the uh, oh! games that do that. that. That was me pressing the wrong button because I hadn't played in a while. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I like the fact that, like, in a lot of games, like, if you play the good guy, you get, you just, like... In a lot of games, it's mechanically balanced, where playing good and evil are equally easy or equally hard. It's just maybe you get, you know, you get blue lightning powers instead of red lightning powers. Right. I like, I like the fact that in this game, being good, being the good guy genuinely is harder. Right. And I think it's the same way in, um, Deus Ex. It is somewhat, but to a lesser extent. Because in Deus Ex, you get more experience points for non-lethal. Yeah, the, the well, the more you do stealth, the easier it gets. That's to the point where at the end of the game you can just run around silent and invisible yeah. if you've been doing that the whole time. Open this door. Yuck. You'll be hearing guys saying that a lot about nasty furry filth. He, and he's he's not complaining about sex fetishes on the internet. He means that there's a rat plague around and they're everywhere. <laughs> I'm trying to imagine furries in Dunwall now. Please don't. <laughs> Too late. Okay. You brought it upon yourself. I did. So is that a wheel lock pistol or is it a musket? Well, it's not a mu well, it's, it's not a mus. I don't know what kind it is. I'm not a, mu a muzzle loading pistol. Oh yeah, it's definitely muzzle loading. I'm sure. I'm not as up. I'm not as knowledgeable about 17th century firearms technology as I really ought to be. Sad to say. Because I can't like. Oh, I spotted. Oh, I wounded him. Oh. Okay, that's a parry. Hmm. When you when a guy makes a melee attack, you can parry with your sword, and if you time it right, he'll be thrown off balance. Then you can do a then you can take him down in one shot. Nice. That's pretty cool. And there's a number of different like pr animations for kills with parries. Some hmm. some of them are pretty nasty. This this is me getting lost and just kind of wandering a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I really can't tell. It looks... I want to say it's just a flintlock. But you're firing way too fast. Well, the th also later on in the game you can actually get like a expanded magazine that has more than one shot. So it's... Well, keep in mind, this is like a steampunk sort of world, so... Yeah, that's got, why I, I would, I would yeah. think a wheel lock pistol would make more sense. I mean, later on you get... They're basically like... 
proximity landmines that spray barbed wire at people, so. Mm. It does kind of look like a wheel lock pistol, too. Yep, nope, use walkway key. We'll, re we'll return to this thrilling wheel lock versus flintlock debate just after this. <laughs> Building a lean is extremely useful. Like I said, they, um, they, they, if your, if your body is, is thoroughly hidden and you poke your head around it, they will not detect you. Even if, by all rights, they should. <laughs> oh! Nighty night. Unless accompanied by an officer of the watch. Escort through the solitary wing must be scheduled in advance with one week's notice. And you can easily just boost yourself up when there's something. You don't have, which is, it's nice and smooth. You don't have to like leap all the way into the air just to climb up a step or whatever. <laughs> Very dark as you can see. Ooh, nearly at the interrogation room now. This game is, you really, this game is really pretty, but you really can't tell in this first area that much. I mean, it looks good, but the really impressive stuff you, you have to give you outside for. Oop, the interrogation yeah. room. Here's a familiar place. It is very gritty, and this whole, yeah. this whole... And here's the audio graphs. These are like recordings. Because you gotta have audio logs in a game like this. So they, are these like wax recorders? They look like punch cards, actually. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I can see that. It looks like kind of like... Whoop. Duty officers report. Corvo's interrogation. Corvo Atano, formerly the Royal Protector, will be brought in for interrogation. This is of utmost importance. The Lord Regent and High Overseer Campbell will conduct the questioning themselves. Follow their orders without hesitation, and keep the torturer under control. If Corvo dies in his hands, instead of getting the public execution the Lord Regent wants, it'll be your head that rolls next. That'll come up again later, the whole thing about the torturer being a bit over-enthusiastic in his... in his vocation. Gotta love what you do. The, 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 the regent likes paintings of himself. There's quite a few of those. Man, I don't even like pictures of myself. Now you can pick up... you can pick up things like bottles and throw them to create noise. Mm. Yep. Excerpt from a book on the esoteric practices of the Abbey. Once a child shows the proper inclination, he is marked. <coughs> Overseers are assigned to study the child, surreptitiously, in order to determine whether this inclination is supported by cosmological conditions and other signs, ongoing throughout the year. At the end of the cycle, those befitting further testing are removed from their homes some hours before dawn, and must begin the march to an outpost outside the city. There, the children undergo ritual preparation and evaluation until the last night of the month of rain, where they make a pilgrimage to Whitecliff. During an elaborate ceremony, it is determined which of the children will become overseers and which must be put down. So... Awesome. Yeah, the, the, the state religion of the Empire, it, uh, the Abbey, is kind of unpleasant in some ways. 